Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style self-development and personal grooming. Now we live in an era in which it seems most of the personal items that we have traditionally carried around with us have been rendered obsolete by some form or another of modern technology. However, I think we're in the habit, as gentlemen, of carrying around so much stuff, so much what I would refer to as sort of pocket litter, that it does occasionally affect our sartorial style, because overstuffed pockets absolutely do not make you look your very best. And in fact, today's um, video has been come about as a consequence of a question I received from one of our viewers, a gentleman called Matthias, who says to me, uh, he asked me a number of questions, but one of the questions was, another problem for me are full pockets in the suit. Most of the time I put my keys, my wallet, etc. in my coat. But what do you do when you have to hand your coat into a cloakroom? You don't want to hand your wallet in, etc. And full pockets make the suit look baggy, and makes it look terrible. What do you do? And that is a superb question. And it's one that many of us intentionally well-dressed men will have to wrangle with from one time or another. However, let's take a moment to think about the items that we carry with us and perhaps do an audit of the things that we carry around. I know I certainly probably carry a little bit too much, but of course there are ways that we can streamline the items that we carry and perhaps get rid of these overstuffed pockets. So just how many items and things do you need to carry around with you? Well, I guess this determines by the time of year, the type of clothing that you wear, and many other things. Now, if it's the winter time and you're wearing outer garments, you know, like a, an overcoat or a parka or whatever, you're gonna have a lot of extra pockets. You've got a lot of real estate about your clothing in which you can carry more things. However, in the summertime, you're likely just to be wearing a pair of slacks, a pair of chinos, maybe a pair of shorts, and a shirt if it's you know a very warm sunny day and you're just casually relaxing. This limits considerably the amount of space that you've got to pop it, pocket carry items around with you and it really makes you focus your attention on the things that you're going to carry. Now of course the style of clothing that you're wearing will affect the items that you carry too. Casual clothing are, of course, much more forgiving if you have lots of things in your pocket. You know, if you've got a handkerchief, a wallet, some car keys, maybe your sunglasses, all of these things need to be pocket carried. So in a casual clothing situation, you know, it's not quite so dramatically apparent to your clothing if you've got more items in there. However, if you're wearing a well-fitted suit, having overstuffed pockets can absolutely affect the drape of your clothing and it can make you go from being quite well turned out and smart to quite scruffy and bedraggled. You know, if you've got stuffed pockets, if you've got, you know, items in every pocket on your clothing, you're going to look disheveled, regardless of how well fitted the clothing is. So it's important to pay attention to the amount of items that you're carrying around with you. Now I've been in just that situation, you know, I've, I've thought about what I'm carrying and it's made me think I am definitely carrying too much. So let me tell you about my own personal audit and the items that I focus my attention on and how I've slimmed down my pocket carry on a day-to-day -day basis. First of all, the things that I need to carry are definitely items that can be reduced in size. Let's talk about a wallet. Now traditionally I used to carry quite a hefty bifold wallet and I would typically carry you know, five, six, seven, eight, maybe even credit cards, uh, club membership cards and things like that. These days, I have slimmed my wallet down to the smallest possible size. Now this wallet, uh, this is a leather wallet by Carl Friedrich, a brand which I've worked with for a while. I think they make fantastic leather items. It's really quite petite. It's a bifold wallet. It's got sufficient room to carry something like, um, I think it's seven separate cards, little areas in there to carry sort of business cards and things like that, but you'll notice it's small. It's not too big. It easily fits in the pocket and it does not affect the drape of my clothing. Because when you think about the items that you carry, there are things that we can do to slim down the necessity to have a big fat wallet. 
Let's talk about money, right? <clears throat> Increasingly, we're living in a cashless society. Certainly, coins have long since sort of been retired from daily use, really. Folding cash or banknotes, I just tuck a few away in the little pockets in my wallet for those occasions where you need to tip a concierge or something of that nature. So folding cash, pared down to the very smallest amount. When it comes to my cards, I tend to carry one credit card, one debit card, my identification, my driver's license, and actually at the moment I'm carrying a Costco uh, membership card as well because I went to Costco yesterday. So rather than carrying piles and piles of cards in case I need them, I keep my cards in one place in my office and I take the cards out with me daily that I think I'm going to need. And don't forget, when it comes to carrying credit cards and financial cards, you don't really need to carry them anymore. You can now um, carry them electronically on an app in your phone, you know, uh, like, um, like uh, Apple Pay and things like that. So it, it no longer necessitates the carrying of large numbers of credit cards. So that's one of the essentials, which I'm always gonna carry, but I've made it smaller. It's no longer, you know, obtrusive in my pocket. It doesn't affect the drape of my trousers over my backside. In my other rear pocket, normally if I'm wearing casual clothes, you'll find that I'm carrying my mobile phone. Now, in this era where mobile phones, phones seem to be getting bigger and bigger, I was delighted uh, last year, 2021, when good old Apple brought out a mini version of their latest phone. This is an Apple uh, 12 mini, an iPhone, and it's ideal for me because I don't like really huge mobile phones which dominate you know, your pocket or wherever you're gonna keep them. I find the mini phones are perfect for just slipping into the back pocket, or if I'm wearing a tight-fitting suit where I don't want to have something heavy and bulky in my back pocket, I keep it in my briefcase. The other thing you can do, invest in quite slim-fitting cases for your phone. This is a really tight-fitting leather case on my iPhone, so it doesn't, again, dominate the pocket. It's something I can easily carry. And the beauty of a phone as well, of course, it takes away many of the traditional functions of items that we would have carried along. So let's talk. Credit cards now can be maintained within the phone. A notebook and a pen, we can now carry that out in our phone, in the notes function. Uh, lots and lots of things, you know, many things that would have necessarily involved you carrying things can now be superseded by the telephone. So in a way, even though it's quite a chunky item, it's doing the job of five, six, seven, ten other items that we would have previously carried around with us. So think about your phone. If you don't like big ones, go for a smaller one. For me, the, the, uh, the mini options on the iPhones is sartorially a very good solution for some of the problems. Now, one of the other items I'll always have in my pocket, I reach into my pocket to find one, is my handkerchief. I've always got a handkerchief in my left-hand trouser pocket for those occasions where I, you know, I need to blow my nose or where I see a gentleman who's, you know, dressed as if he's fallen out of bed, I use it to wipe a tear away from my eye when the sartorial gods have sent me a challenge of that nature. So a handkerchief in the pocket, always very handy, something I'll always carry. But again, doesn't take up much space and it's always something useful to have there ready when you need it. Now another item which most of us will carry around are our keys. And these can be considerably bulky, you know, particularly if you have a car key. And modern day car keys, they're not just a key anymore, they're normally a large box which contains the electronic gubbins, which is, uh, you know, the immobilizer for your car and, and the identification chips and things like that. They're quite sizable. Then you carry your house keys, maybe your office keys, the keys to your desk, whatever it may be, it's a lot of keys. And they are a big problem for your trousers because they're quite sharp, they're quite jangly, um, they can catch on something and even rip your trousers because you know they're, they're not, uh, you know, they're not conducive to just sliding into the pocket. There's lots of edges when it comes to keys. The way I overcome this, what I normally do, I find that when I go out somewhere, I tend to drive somewhere. So I don't carry one big bunch of keys. I carry several bunches of keys pertinent to the various elements of my life, all right? Sounds strange, but bear with me. I keep one bunch of keys with my house key on. I keep one bunch of keys with all my office-related items on, and I've got my car keys, which is just simply a single car key. 
So when I get in the car, I take all my keys with me and I put the keys in the car. Then I only need to carry my car key with me because my house key and my office key, they're in the car when I don't need them. So I'm only ever carrying my car key because my car, my car keys become my sort of, my car is my home base and all my other keys are maintained in there so I don't have to cart them around with me in my pocket, jingle jangling and having the risk of, you know, catching them on something and spoiling the, the cut and the drape of my trousers. So think about how you can pare down those number of keys or just carry one around and have access to the other ones nearby. It'll absolutely reduce all of the key issues that most of us have. Okay, so I get it. Many of you are thinking he doesn't carry a great deal at all. I carry a lot more stuff around with me than that. I carry my eyeglasses, my sunglasses, medication, a comb, a pocket knife, all of these other items. I like to carry a pen, a notebook, an iPad mini. Lots of people have lots of different requirements. I totally get that. And this is where, you know, you, you, what is essential for me is virtually nothing, but essential for you might be a pile of other things. And it becomes impossible to carry them all. And this is where we have a delineation between our personal carry and our everyday carry, our needs. And for me, this is where we cross the boundary between what we're carrying in our pockets and we move them along to an ancillary carrying item. Now, for me, <coughs> I like to carry a leather briefcase, all right? Because a leather briefcase allows me to carry all of those items and many of which should be in my, you know, used to be in my pockets, now I can put them in the briefcase. And rather than having bulging pockets with all of those items, they're contained in a stylish, elegant leather briefcase, which rather than showing those items overstuffing my pockets, they're actually now contained in this item, which is enhancing my look. Because for me, I think the carriage of a nice quality leather briefcase by a gentleman is a style bump. It makes you look a little bit more stylish. And you know, rather than having those big fat pockets, it's all in here and everything is sleek, tucked away, and looking good. Now, it depends on the time of year as well, as I say. So in the summertime, this is the briefcase that I carry. It's quite slim, quite slick, plenty of room for what I need. But in the winter time, I might need to step up the items that I carry. So I might be carrying a spare scarf, a hat, gloves, um, many other items, not uh, uh, items that are not going to fit into my briefcase. At that point, I swap over to a leather valise or a hold all, which again, equally stylish, equally elegant, but allows me to carry a lot more items with me. And in that way, instead of overstuffing my pockets, I can keep them in an elegant accessory, which makes me look even smarter than if I wasn't carrying it, particularly if it's leather, which of course looks better every year that you own it. It's gonna last for decades, it's gonna look great. So those are my suggestions on how you can get around that overstuffed pocket problem. Firstly, audit the items that you're carrying. What can you do to slim down your everyday carry? All right, pair it back carry what is necessary. Technology is your friend. Use it to reduce the items that you're carrying. If you still find that you've got a lot to carry around, think about including an accessory in which you can carry those items instead of your trouser pockets, your jacket pockets, or whatever. A nice leather briefcase or a leather valise is gonna give you a style bump. You're gonna look even better, more stylish, more elegant, and you are gonna win the day as an intentionally well-dressed man. Well, chaps, I hope you have found that answer to that question from Matthias useful and helpful in your daily lives. If you have, I would encourage you to give us a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the work that we're doing here on the Chaps Guide channel, you know the drill, click the red button. And if you'd like to practically support the channel, you can buy me a coffee. You'll find the buy me a coffee link in the show notes below. So until the next time. Do not walk around with overstuffed pockets when there is a perfectly viable alternative that will make you look even smarter. Until the next time, take care of yourselves and I will see you again very soon.